Friedrich Ludwig Gottlob Frege, German, Tolo P. Free, the 8th of November 1848 to the 26th of July 1925, was a German philosopher, logician, and mathematician. He is understood by many to be the father of analytic philosophy, concentrating on the philosophy of language and mathematics. Though largely ignored during his lifetime, Giuseppe Pino (1858–1932) and Bertrand Russell (1872–1970) introduced his work to later generations of logicians and philosophers. His contributions include the development of modern logic in the Begriffsschrift and work in the foundations of mathematics. His book The Foundations of Arithmetic is the seminal text of the Logicist project, and is cited by Michael Dummett as where to pinpoint the linguistic turn. His philosophical papers, On Sense and Reference, Über Schin und Bedüting, and The Thought, Der Gedank, are widely cited. Life Childhood Frege was born in 1848 in Wismar, Mecklenburg-Schwerin, today part of Mecklenburg-Vorpommern. His father Karl, Karl Alexander Frege (1809–1866) was the co-founder and headmaster of a girls' high school until his death. After Karl's death, the school was led by Frege's mother Auguste Wilhelmin Sophie Frege the 12th of January 1815 to the 14th of October 1898. Her mother was Augusta Malia Maria Ballhorn, a descendant of Philip Melanchthon and her father was Johann Heinrich Siegfried Bialoblotsky, a descendant of a Polish noble family who left Poland in the 17th century. In childhood, Frege encountered philosophies that would guide his future scientific career. For example, his father wrote a textbook on the German language for children aged 9 to 13, entitled Hulfsbuch zum Unterricht in der Deutschen Sprache für Kinder von 9 bis 13 Jahren, 2nd ed. Wismar 1850, 3rd ed. Wismar and Ludwigslist, Hinsdorf, 1862, the first section of which dealt with the structure and logic of language. Frege studied at a gymnasium in Wismar and graduated in 1869. His teacher Gustav Adolf Leo Saxe, the 5th of November 1843 to the 1st of September 1909, who was a poet, played the most important role in determining Frege's future scientific career, encouraging him to continue his studies at the University of Jena. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Studies at University, Jena and Göttingen 1869 to 74. Frege matriculated at the University of Jena in the spring of 1869 as a citizen of the North German Confederation. In the four semesters of his studies he attended approximately 20 courses of lectures, most of them on mathematics and physics. His most important teacher was Ernst Karl Abbey 1840-1905, physicist, mathematician, and inventor. Abbey gave lectures on theory of gravity, galvanism and electrodynamics, complex analysis theory of functions of a complex variable, applications of physics, selected divisions of mechanics, and mechanics of solids. Abbey was more than a teacher to Frege, he was a trusted friend, and, as director of the optical manufacturer Carl Zeiss AG, he was in a position to advance Frege's career. After Frege's graduation, they came into closer correspondence. His other notable university teachers were Christian Philip Carl Snell 1806 Subjects, Use of Infinitesimal Analysis in Geometry, Analytical Geometry of Planes, Analytical Mechanics, Optics, Physical Foundations of Mechanics, Hermann Carl Julius Traugott Schaeffer 1824-1900, Analytical Geometry, Applied Physics, Algebraic Analysis, on the Telegraph and Other Electronic Machines, and the philosopher Kuno Fischer 1824-1907. Kantian and critical philosophy. Starting in 1871, Frege continued his studies in Göttingen, the leading university in mathematics in German-speaking territories, where he attended the lectures of Rudolf Friedrich Alfred Klebsch (1833–72), analytical geometry, Ernst Christian Julius Schering (1824–97), function theory, Wilhelm Eduard Weber (1804–91), physical studies, applied physics, Eduard Rieck (1845–1915), theory of electricity, and Hermann. Lotz 1817 to 81 philosophy of religion 
Many of the philosophical doctrines of the mature Frege have parallels in Lotz. It has been the subject of scholarly debate whether or not there was a direct influence on Frege's views arising from his attending Lotz's lectures. In 1873, Frege attained his doctorate under Ernst Christian Julius Schering, with a dissertation under the title of Über eine geometrische Darstellung der imaginären Gebilde in der Abene. On a geometrical representation of imaginary forms in a plane in which he aimed to solve such fundamental problems in geometry as the mathematical interpretation of projective geometries infinitely distant imaginary points Frege married Marguerite Katerina Sophia Anna Liesberg the 15th of February 1856 to the 25th of June 1904 on the 14th of March 1887 topic Work as a logician Though his education and early mathematical work focused primarily on geometry, Frege's work soon turned to logic. His Begriffsschrift, Eine der Arithmetischen Nachgebildete Formelsprache des Reinen Denkens concept script, a formal language for pure thought modeled on that of arithmetic, Halley A. S., Verlag von Louis Nebert, 1879 marked a turning point in the history of logic. The Begriffsschrift broke new ground, including a rigorous treatment of the ideas of functions and variables. Frege's goal was to show that mathematics grows out of logic, and in so doing, he devised techniques that took him far beyond the Aristotelian syllogistic and Stoic propositional logic that had come down to him in the logical tradition. In effect, Frege invented axiomatic predicate logic, in large part thanks to his invention of quantified variables, which eventually became ubiquitous in mathematics and logic, and which solved the problem of multiple generality. Previous logic had dealt with the logical constants and, or, if, then, not, and some and all, but iterations of these operations, especially, some, and, all, were little understood, even the distinction between a sentence like, Every boy loves some girl, and some girl is loved by every boy, could be represented only very artificially, whereas Frege's formalism had no difficulty expressing the different readings of every boy loves some girl who loves some boy who loves some girl, and similar sentences, in complete parallel with his treatment of, say, every boy is foolish. A frequently noted example is that Aristotle's logic is unable to represent mathematical statements like Euclid's theorem, a fundamental statement of number theory that there are an infinite number of prime numbers. Frege's conceptual notation, however, can represent such inferences. The analysis of logical concepts and the machinery of formalization that is essential to Principia Mathematica, three vols, 1910 to 13, by Bertrand Russell, 1872 to 1970, and Alfred North Whitehead, 1861 to 1947, to Russell's theory of descriptions, to Kurt Gödel's 1906 to 78 incompleteness theorems, and to Alfred Tarski's 1901 to 83 theory of truth, is ultimately due to Frege. One of Frege's stated purposes was to isolate genuinely logical principles of inference, so that in the proper representation of mathematical proof, one would at no point appeal to intuition. If there was an intuitive element, it was to be isolated and represented separately as an axiom, from there on, the proof was to be purely logical and without gaps. Having exhibited this possibility, Frege's larger purpose was to defend the view that arithmetic is a branch of logic, a view known as logicism. Unlike geometry, arithmetic was to be shown to have no basis in intuition, and no need for non logical axioms. Already in the 1879 Begriffsschrift, important preliminary theorems, for example a generalized form of law of trichotomy, were derived within what Frege understood to be pure logic. This idea was formulated in non-symbolic terms in his The Foundations of Arithmetic 1884. Later, in his Basic Laws of Arithmetic Volume 1, 1893, Volume 2, 1903, Volume 2 was published at his own expense, Frege attempted to derive, by use of his symbolism, all of the laws of arithmetic from axioms he asserted as logical. Most of these axioms were carried over from his Begriffsschrift, though not without some significant changes. The one truly new principle was one he called the basic law v, the value range of the function f x is the same as the value range of the function g x if and only if x f x equals g x. The crucial case of the law may be formulated in modern notation as follows. 
Let x, fx denote the extension of the predicate fx, i.e., the set of all f's, and similarly for gx. Then basic law V says that the predicates fx and gx have the same extension iffx fx left right arrow gx. The set of f's is the same as the set of g's just in case every f is a g and every g is an f the case is special because what is here being called the extension of a predicate, or a set, is only one type of value range of a function. In a famous episode, Bertrand Russell wrote to Frege, just as volume 2 of the grunge sets was about to go to press in 1903, showing that Russell's paradox could be derived from Frege's basic law v. It is easy to define the relation of membership of a set or extension in Frege's system. Russell then drew attention to the set of things x that are such that x is not a member of x. The system of the grunge sets entails that the set thus characterized both as and is not a member of itself, and is thus inconsistent. Frege wrote a hasty, last-minute appendix to Volume 2, deriving the contradiction and proposing to eliminate it by modifying basic law v. Frege opened the appendix with the exceptionally honest comment, hardly anything more unfortunate can befall a scientific writer than to have one of the foundations of his edifice shaken after the work is finished. This was the position I was placed in by a letter of Mr. Bertrand Russell, just when the printing of this volume was nearing its completion. This letter and Frege's reply are translated in Jean van Hagenort 1967. Frege's proposed remedy was subsequently shown to imply that there is but one object in the universe of discourse, and hence is worthless. Indeed, this would make for a contradiction in Frege's system if he had axiomatized the idea, fundamental to his discussion, that the true and the false are distinct objects. See, for example, Dummett 19. 1973, but recent work has shown that much of the program of the grunge sets might be salvaged in other ways, basic law V can be weakened in other ways. The best known way is due to philosopher and mathematical logician George Boulos who was an expert on the work of Frege. A concept f is small if the objects falling under f cannot be put into one-to-one -one correspondence with the universe of discourse, that is, unless r, r is one-to-one -one and x y, x r y and f y. Now we can v to v asterisk a concept f and a concept g have the same extension if and only if neither f nor g is small or x f x left right arrow g x. V asterisk is consistent if second-order arithmetic is, and suffices to prove the axioms of second-order arithmetic. Basic law V can simply be replaced with Hume's principle, which says that the number of F's is the same as the number of G's if and only if the F's can be put into a one-to-one -one correspondence with the G's. This principle, too, is consistent if second-order arithmetic is, and suffices to prove the axioms of second-order arithmetic. This result is termed Frege's theorem because it was noticed that in developing arithmetic, Frege's use of basic law V is restricted to a proof of Hume's principle. It is from this, in turn, that arithmetical principles are derived. On Hume's principle and Frege's theorem, see Frege's logic, theorem, and foundations for arithmetic. Frege's logic, now known as second-order logic, can be weakened to so-called predicative second-order logic. Predicative second-order logic plus basic law V is provably consistent by finitistic or constructive methods, but it can interpret only very weak fragments of arithmetic. Frege's work in logic had little international attention until 1903 when Russell wrote an appendix to the principles of mathematics stating his differences with Frege. The diagrammatic notation that Frege used had no antecedents and has had no imitators since. Moreover, until Russell and Whitehead's Principia Mathematica, three vols, appeared in 1910-13, the dominant approach to mathematical logic was still that of George Boole and his intellectual descendants, especially Ernst Schroeder Frege's logical ideas nevertheless spread through the writings of his student Rudolf Carnap and other admirers, particularly Bertrand Russell and Ludwig Wittgenstein Philosopher <laughs> 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 Frege is one of the founders of analytic philosophy, whose work on logic and language gave rise to the linguistic turn in philosophy. His contributions to the philosophy of language include Function argument analysis of the proposition Distinction between concept and object Begriff und Gegenstand Principle of compositionality Context principle 
Distinction between the sense and reference of names and other expressions, sometimes said to involve a mediated reference theory. As a philosopher of mathematics, Frege attacked the psychologistic appeal to mental explanations of the content of judgment of the meaning of sentences. His original purpose was very far from answering general questions about meaning, instead, he devised his logic to explore the foundations of arithmetic, undertaking to answer questions such as, What is a number? or what objects do number words? 1. Quote, comma, quote, 2. Etc. refer to? But in pursuing these matters, he eventually found himself analyzing and explaining what meaning is, and thus came to several conclusions that proved highly consequential for the subsequent course of analytic philosophy and the philosophy of language. It should be kept in mind that Frege was employed as a mathematician, not a philosopher, and he published his philosophical papers in scholarly journals that often were hard to access outside of the German-speaking world. He never published a philosophical monograph other than the foundations of arithmetic, much of which was mathematical in content, and the first collections of his writings appeared only after World War II. A volume of English translations of Frege's philosophical essays first appeared in 1952, edited by students of Wittgenstein, Peter Geech (1916–2013), and Max Black (1909–88), with the bibliographic assistance of Wittgenstein. See Geech, ed. 1975. Introduction. Despite the generous praise of Russell and Wittgenstein, Frege was little known as a philosopher during his lifetime. His ideas spread chiefly through those he influenced, such as Russell, Wittgenstein, and Carnap, and through work on logic and semantics by Polish logicians. Topic. Sense and reference Frege's 1892 paper, On Sense and Reference, Uber Shin und Beduding, introduced his influential distinction between sense, Shin, and reference, Beduding which has also been translated as meaning or denotation. While conventional accounts of meaning took expressions to have just one feature reference, Frege introduced the view that expressions have two different aspects of significance, their sense and their reference. Reference, or beduding, applied to proper names, where a given expression say the expression Tom simply refers to the entity bearing the name the person named Tom. Frege also held that propositions had a referential relationship with their truth value in other words, a statement refers to the truth value it takes. By contrast, the sense or shin associated with a complete sentence is the thought it expresses. The sense of an expression is said to be the mode of presentation of the item referred to, and there can be multiple modes of representation for the same referent. The distinction can be illustrated thus, in their ordinary uses, the name, Charles Philip Arthur George Mountbatten Windsor, which for logical purposes is an unanalyzable whole, and the functional expression, the Prince of Wales, which contains the significant parts, the Prince of She, and Wales, have the same reference, namely, the person best known as Prince Charles. But the sense of the word, Wales, is a part of the sense of the latter expression, but no part of the sense of the full name of Prince Charles. These distinctions were disputed by Bertrand Russell, especially in his paper, On Denoting. The controversy has continued into the present, fueled especially by Saul Kripke's famous lectures, Naming and Necessity. 1924 Diary Frege's published philosophical writings were of a very technical nature and divorced from practical issues, so much so that Frege scholar Dummett expresses his shock to discover, while reading Frege's diary, that his hero was an anti-Semite. After the German Revolution of 1918-19 his political opinions became more radical. In the last year of his life, at the age of 76, his diary contains extreme right-wing political opinions, opposing the parliamentary system, Democrats, liberals, Catholics, the French and Jews, who he thought ought to be deprived of political rights and, preferably, expelled from Germany. Frege confided that he had once thought of himself as a liberal and was an admirer of Bismarck, but then sympathized with General Ludendorff and Adolf Hitler. Some interpretations have been written about that time. The diary contains a critique of universal suffrage and socialism. 
Frege had friendly relations with Jews in real life, among his students was Gershom Scholem who much valued his teacher, and he encouraged Ludwig Wittgenstein to leave for England. The 1924 diary was published posthumously in 1994. Frege apparently never spoke in public about his political viewpoints. Personality Frege was described by his students as a highly introverted person, seldom entering into dialogue, mostly facing the blackboard while lecturing though being witty and sometimes bitterly sarcastic. Important dates Born 8 November 1848 in Wismar, Mecklenburg-Schwerin. 1869. Attends the University of Jena 1871. Attends the University of Göttingen 1873. Ph.D., Doctor in Mathematics geometry, attained at Göttingen 1874. Habilitation at Jena, private teacher. 1879. Osserordenlicher Professor at Jena 1896. Ordenlicher Honorare Professor at Jena 1917 or 1918 retires died the 26th of July 1925 in Bad Kleinen now part of Mecklenburg Vorpommern topic important works topic logic foundation of arithmetic Begriffsschrift, eine der arithmetischen Nachgebildet Formelsprache des Reinen Denkens 1879, Halle A. S. In English, Begriffsschrift, a formula language, modeled upon that of arithmetic, for pure thought, in, J. van Hagenort ed., From Frege to Gödel, a source book in mathematical logic, 1879-1931, Harvard, M. A., Harvard University Press, 1967, pp. 5-82. In English, selected sections revised in modern formal notation. R. L. Mendelssohn, The Philosophy of Gottlob Frege, Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, 2005. Appendix A. Begriffsschrift in modern notation, 1, 2, 51. And Appendix B. Begriffsschrift in modern notation, 52, 2, 68. Die Grundlagen der Arithmetik, eine logische mathematische Untersuchung über den Begriff der Zahl, 1884, Breslau. In English, The Foundations of Arithmetic, a logico-mathematical enquiry into the concept of number, translated by J. L. Austin, Oxford, Basil Blackwell, 1950, Grundsätze der Arithmetik, Band I, 1893, Band II, 1903, Jena, Verlag Hermann Pola, online version. In English, translation of selected sections. Translation of part of Frege's Grundsätze der Arithmetik. Translated and edited Peter Geech and Max Black in translations from the philosophical writings of Gottlob Frege, New York, New York, Philosophical Library, 1952, pp. 137 to 158. In German, revised in modern formal notation, Grundsätze der Arithmetik, Corpora, University of Duisburg Essen, 2006, Band I and Band II. In German, revised in modern formal notation, Grundsätze der Arithmetik, Begriffsschriftlich abgeleitet. Band I und II, in moderne formal notation transkribiert und mit einem ausführlichen Sackregister version, edited by T. Muller, B. Schroeder, and R. Stuhlmann Leisch, Paderborn, Mentis, 2009. In English, Basic Laws of Arithmetic, translated and edited with an introduction by Philip A. Ebert and Marcus Rosberg. Oxford, Oxford University Press, 2013. ISBN 978-0-19-928174-9. Topic Philosophical Studies Function and Concept 1891 Original, Function und Begriff, in Genische Gesellschaft für Medizin und Naturwissenschaft, Jena, 9 January 1891, in English, Function and Concept, on Sense and Reference 1892 Original, Über Schin und Bedüting, in Zeitschrift für Philosophie und Philosophische Kritik C 1892, 25-50, in English, on Sense and Reference, alternatively translated in later edition as on Sense and Meaning, 
Concept and Object 1892 Original, Uber Begriff und Gegenstand, in Wirteljahreschrift für Wissenschaftliche Philosophie 16 1892, 192-205, in English, Concept and Object, What is a Function? 1904 Original, Was East eine Function? in Festschrift Ludwig Boltzmann Gewidmet zum Sexigsen Gebertstage, 20 February 1904, South Meyer ed. Leipzig, 1904, pp. 656-600 66 Internet Archive, 1, 2, 3, in English, What is a Function? Logical Investigations 1918-1923. Frege intended that the following three papers be published together in a book titled Logische Untersuchungen Logical Investigations. Though the German book never appeared, the papers were published together in Logische Untersuchungen, ed. G. Patzig, Vandenhoek and Ruprecht, 1966, and English translations appeared together in Logical Investigations, ed. Peter Geech, Blackwell, 1975. 1918-19. Der Gedank, eine logische Untersuchung The Thought, a Logical Inquiry, in Beatridge zur Philosophie des Deutschen Idealismus I, 58-77, 1918-19. Die Verneinung negation in Beatridge zur Philosophie des Deutschen Idealismus I, 143-157, 1923. Gedenkenfuge compound thought, in Beatridge zur Philosophie des Deutschen Idealismus III, 36-51. Articles on Geometry 1903, Über die Grundlagen der Geometrie. 2. Jahresbericht der Deutschen Mathematiker Vereinigung 12 1903, 368-375, in English, On the Foundations of Geometry, 1967, Kleine Schriften, I. Angelelli, ed. Darmstadt, Wissenschaftliche Buchgesellschaft, 1967 and Hildesheim, G. Olms, 1967. Small Writings, a collection of most of his writings e.g. The previous, posthumously published. See also Frege system List of pioneers in computer science Neo-Fregenism References Sources Primary Online bibliography of Frege's works and their English translations compiled by E. N. Zalta, Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy 1879. Begriffschrift, Eine der Arithmetischen Nachgebildet Formelsprache des Reinen Denkens. Halley A. S. Louis Nebert. Translation, Concept Script, A Formal Language of Pure Thought Modeled Upon That of Arithmetic, by S. Bauer Mengelberg and Jean van Hagenort, ed. 1967. From Frege to Gödel, a source book in mathematical logic, 1879 to 1931. Harvard University Press, 1884. Die Grundlagen der Arithmetik, eine logische mathematische Untersuchung über den Begriff der Zahl. Breslau, W. Kobner. Translation, J. L. Austin, 1974. The Foundations of Arithmetic: A Logico-Mathematical Enquiry into the Concept of Number, Second Ed. Blackwell. 1891. Function und Begriff. Translation. Function and Concept. In Geech and Black. 1980. 1892a. Über Schin und Bedutung. In Zeitschrift für Philosophie und Philosophische Kritik 100-25-50. Translation. On Sense and Reference. In Geech and Black. 1980. 1892b. Über Begriff und Gegenstand. In Wirteljahreschrift für Wissenschaftliche Philosophie 16 to 192 minus 205. Translation: Concept and Object. In Geech and Black, 1980. 1893. Grundsätze der Arithmetik. Band I Jena, Verlag Hermann Pola. Band 2, 1903. Band I plus E online. Partial translation of Volume 1, Montgomery Firth, 1964. The Basic Laws of Arithmetic. Univ. of California Press. Translation of selected sections from Volume 2 in Geech and Black, 1980. Complete translation of both volumes, Philip A. Ebert and Marcus Rosberg, 2013, Basic Laws of Arithmetic. Oxford University Press. 1904. 
Was East Ein a Function? In Meyer, S., ed. 1904. Festschrift Ludwig Boltzmann Gewidmet zum Sexigsten Gebertstage, 20. February 1904. Leipzig, Barth, 656 666. Translation. What is a function? In Geech and Black, 1980. 1918 1923. Peter Geech, editor, Logical Investigations, Blackwell, 1975. 1924. Gottfried Gabriel, Wolfgang Kienzler, editors, Gottlob Frege's Politisches Tagebuch. In, Deutsche Zeitschrift für Philosophie, Vol. 42, 1994, pp. 1057 98. Introduction by the editors on pp. 1057 66. This article has been translated into English, in, Inquiry, Vol. 39, 1996, pp. 303 342. Peter Geech and Max Black, eds., and Trans., 1980. Translations from the Philosophical Writings of Gottlob Frege, 3rd ed. Blackwell, 1st ed., 1952. <laughs> Secondary Philosophabadu, Alain. On a Contemporary Usage of Frege. Trans. Justin Clemens and Sam Gillespie. UMBR a, No. 1, 2000, pp. 99-115. Baker, Gordon, and PMS. Hacker, 1984. Frege, Logical Excavations. Oxford University Press. Vigorous, if controversial, criticism of both Frege's philosophy and influential contemporary interpretations such as Dummett's. Curry, Gregory, 1982. Frege, An Introduction to His Philosophy. Harvester Press. Dummett, Michael, 1973. Frege, Philosophy of Language. Harvard University Press. 1981. The Interpretation of Frege's Philosophy. Harvard University Press. Hill, Claire Ortiz, 1991. Word and Object in Husserl, Frege and Russell, The Roots of Twentieth-Century Philosophy. Athens O., Ohio University Press. And Rosado Haddock, G.E., 2000. Husserl or Frege, Meaning, Objectivity, and Mathematics. Open Court, on the Frege Husserl Cantor Triangle. Kenny, Anthony, 1995. Frege, An Introduction to the Founder of Modern Analytic Philosophy. Penguin Books, Excellent Non Technical Introduction and Overview of Frege's Philosophy. Klemke, E.D., ed., 1968. Essays on Frege. University of Illinois Press, 31 Essays by Philosophers, grouped under three headings, 1. Ontology, 2. Semantics, and 3. Logic and Philosophy of Mathematics. Risado Haddock, Guillermo E., 2006. A Critical Introduction to the Philosophy of Gottlob Frege. Ashgate Publishing. Sisti, Nicola, 2005. Il programma logicista di Frege e il tema della definizione. Franco Angeli, on Frege's Theory of Definitions. Sluga, Hans, 1980. Gottlob Frege. Routledge. Nikola Vasalo, 2014, Frege on Thinking and its Epistemic Significance with Pirana Garavaso, Lexington Books Roman and Littlefield, Lanham, M.D., USA. Wiener, Joan, 1990. Frege in Perspective, Cornell University Press, Logic and Mathematics Anderson, D.J., and Edward Zalta, 2004, Frege, Bulos, and Logical Objects, Journal of Philosophical Logic 33-1-26. Blanchette, Patricia, 2012, Frege's Conception of Logic. Oxford, Oxford University Press, 2012 Burgess, John, 2005. Fixing Frege. Princeton Univ. Press, a critical survey of the ongoing rehabilitation of Frege's logicism. Boulos, George, 1998. Logic, Logic, and Logic. MIT Press, 12 papers on Frege's theorem and the logicist approach to the foundation of arithmetic. Dummett, Michael, 1991. Frege, Philosophy of Mathematics. Harvard University Press. Demopolis, William, ed., 1995. Frege's Philosophy of Mathematics. Harvard Univ. Press, Papers Exploring Frege's Theorem and Frege's Mathematical and Intellectual Background. Ferreira, F. and Wemeyer, K., 2002, On the Consistency of the Delta One One Saw Fragment of Frege's Grunge Sets, Journal of Philosophic Logic 31-301-11. Grattan Guinness, Ivor, 2000. The Search for Mathematical Roots 1870-1940. Princeton University Press, Fair to the Mathematician, Less So to the Philosopher. 
Gillies, Donald A. 1982. Frege, Dedekind, and Pino on the Foundations of Arithmetic. Methodology and Science Foundation, 2. Van Gorkum & Co., Assen, 1982. Gillies, Donald, The Phrygian Revolution in Logic. Revolutions in Mathematics, 265-305, Oxford Sci. P.U.B.L., Oxford Univ. Press, New York, 1992. Irvine, Andrew David, 2010, Frege on Number Properties, Studia Logica, 96 2, 239-60. Charles Parsons, 1965, Frege's Theory of Number, reprinted with postscript in Demopolis, 1965, 182-210. The starting point of the ongoing sympathetic re-examination of Frege's logicism. Gillies, Donald, The Phrygian Revolution in Logic. Revolutions in Mathematics, 265-305, Oxford Sci. P.U.B.L., Oxford Univ. Press, New York, 1992. Heck, Richard G., Jr., Frege's Theorem. Oxford, Oxford University Press, 2011 Heck, Richard G., Jr., Reading Frege's Grunge Sets. Oxford, Oxford University Press, 2013 Wright, Crispin, 1983. Frege's Conception of Numbers as Objects. Aberdeen University Press, a systematic exposition and a scope-restricted defense of Frege's Grundlagen conception of numbers. Historical Context Everdell, William R. 1997, the First Moderns, Profiles in the Origins of Twentieth-Century Thought, Chicago, University of Chicago Press Topic. External links Works by or about Gottlob Frege at Internet Archive Frege at Genealogy Project A comprehensive guide to Phrygian material available on the web by Brian Carver. Frege, Gottlob, Internet Encyclopedia of Philosophy Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy. Gottlob Frege by Edward Zalta Frege's Logic, Theorem, and Foundations for Arithmetic by Edward Zalta Internet Encyclopedia of Philosophy Gottlob Frege — by Kevin C. Clement Frege and Language — by Dorothea Lauder Metaphysics Research Lab — Gottlob Frege Frege on Being, Existence and Truth O'Connor, John J., Robertson, Edmund F. Gottlob Frege — MacTutor History of Mathematics Archive, University of St. Andrews the Griff, a latex package for typesetting Frege's logic notation, earlier version Grunge Sets, a latex package for typesetting Frege's logic notation, mature version Frege's Basic Laws of Arithmetic, Info Website, INCL, Core Agenda and Latex Typesetting Tool — by P.A. Ebert and M. Rosberg